To face track in After Effects, all you have to do is get yourself the pen tool right at the top. And once you've got yourself the pen tool selected, you also want to select your video to swap on over to the mask rather than the shape. So all you have to do is, first of all, you want to left click once and then left click again and drag it out to get yourself a selection. And this is going to create a path. We want to go all the way around this face right here, selecting only the edges. So the next one, you can once again, hold it in, or you can just left click to continue on getting yourself a selection. Once you get to the very last one, you just want to hover over the first one and then left click to connect it all up. The next thing to do is we want to open this up, the video, go over to the mask, and then in here, set it to a none for the effect. So it's not going to add it, subtract it, or anything like that, we can see the whole video. The next thing that we want to do is of course, we want to motion track this so we don't have to manually do it ourselves because that's very time consuming. So to motion track this, you go to window and then go down to the tracker right at the bottom here. And this will open up a new panel. Now, all you need to know about the tracker to keep this as simple as possible is the tracker will go off whatever you are doing. So for example, if you're not selecting anything, it will give you these options right here. So you need to make sure that you are selecting exactly the mask that you want it to track. So for us, it's going to be mask one. Once you've got yourself the mask selected, you want to select yourself the type of method is going to track. So for example, we can set it to position, we can set it to perspective. And of course, the one that we're going to focus on and the one that we're going to use is face tracking outline only. And that is exactly what we've done right here. You then want to go to the start of this video, right at the beginning, you can go ahead and click on track selected masks forward. And this will just start to motion track your video right here and your face. Once the face tracking is complete, you can then go ahead and have a look through your video, see if you're happy with your results. And if you are, then that's great. But you will also reach some moments on your video, for example, right here, where it starts to lose focus of the edges. So if this is something that bothers you and you want it to be really accurate, that's completely fine because you can always go back to that specific area, for example, here, and we can always readjust these points if you wanted to, but you would also have to hold shift and then left click on here to deselect the certain ones that you don't want it to move. You can also use the main tool or the main mouse cursor. You can left click and only select the ones that you want to move. So for example, we can readjust this. Once again, we can put it right here. We can put this one a little bit further up, move this one a little bit higher, move this one as well, and just readjust this to only select the face right here. And once again, if you would correct this, you then go to track forwards and it will just replace the ones that are not looking so good. That's basically how you face track in After Effects.